At the crack of dawn in Paris, the first sign of life comes from the bistros. They used to be a Parisian trademark, but today they're becoming an increasingly rare sight. Alain Fontaine has been running his bistro for over 20 years, and now heads an association that wants to seek UNESCO's protection for establishments like his. The bistro culture means that you can talk about anything, about the important stuff, as well as the trivial. But for that, the ambience must be right. And it can't be too tidy. My bistro has a soul. There's lots of stuff that belong to my family here, like my father's helmet and old family photos. But whether the main theme is family, love or politics, for many, the bistro on the corner is like a second home, open from early morning until late at night. I'm always chatting to everyone here. It's a great place to meet people. The bistro stands for joie de vivre. It's a place where you can unwind and simply feel good about life. And eat well. A steak tartare, for example, at any time of the day. But on the outside, the world has changed drastically. Forty years ago, there were five times as many bistros in France as today. Owners are hoping that if UNESCO grants world heritage status to the small bistros, it might turn the tide. And though there wouldn't be any direct money in it for the owners, the bistro as a world heritage site would surely make for good advertising. Advertising that the fast food chains could only dream of. The age-old city of Paris is in high demand. And the big fish are putting more and more bistros out of business. Influencers like Florian Air are drawn to a very different type of restaurant. He is constantly scanning the city for the newest food trends to present to his followers. You're more likely to find creativity and new concepts elsewhere than in your typical French bistro. Today, Florian's blog takes him to a top-of-the-range Thai street food restaurant. But all his love for the new doesn't stop him from wanting to preserve the old, the bistros. I love bistros. They're very typical of France. The baguette is already on the UNESCO list, so why not bistros? The influencers are on board, but the Ministry of Culture is hesitant, and that's where the official application to UNESCO must come from. Bistro owner Fontaine resents the official's apparent lack of interest in their efforts. We've been rejected twice already. Why? Because we don't fit into all the boxes of the UNESCO convention. That convention really keeps me up at night. The problem? Owners are having a hard time defining exactly what constitutes a bistro in the first place. Because each one is unique. As individual as they are, there's one thing that ties them together. A sense of charm and tradition. Alain Fontaine is confident that the bistros will get the recognition they deserve. Because Parisians and tourists alike have long understood, France is not France without its bistros.